Still more birds. We were doing so well with that pleasant bird in episode one. What happened to that? Would it be all right if I took that basket and some straw and bamboo? Oh, of course you can. We just love you. Yeah. It'll do you. The basket's full of holes. Oh. Let me pay you. I said it's fine. Take this small offering for your trouble, please. And thanks a lot for your help. Got a strong sense of honor, and that man's hand paid the price. She's not one of those bad demons. She's one of those cute demons. Oh, here we go. Here we get the opening. Wait a minute, this is the this is the ending from, <laughs> from the last episode. I'm so confused. This is the greatest twist since the latest episode of Attack on Titan. There are a lot of characters coming. See, these people look awesome. These people look awesome. I'm very excited for them. So they're hinting at this great action. It's it's there. I can feel it already. The detail is there. Episode 2, Master Urokudaki. Sakanji. So this is the guy we're looking for. Guess she really wants to avoid the sun. He did say that, right? Keep her out of the sun. I want to try to keep moving during the day, too. But I can carry you, okay? Is it a carrier in the basket? Guess not. We're almost there. You got close. I can't believe how grown up she is. <laughs> That's his... like yesterday, she was half that size. <laughs> That's his thought at this moment. Even in demon form, he's proud of her. Get smaller for me. <sighs> Let's just work. That is amazingly convenient. He was in a carrier even not knowing about the size Who's thing. A good girl. You Balls on this kid. Nezuko. I'm impressed. What's so bizarre about that scene in their interaction is that it's so light and cheerful and like proud, but also thinking about it, it's incredibly morbid. His demon sister, kawaii demon though she may be, is all that's left of his family and he has no hope of restoring her. I compared her to Alphonse, but Alphonse, she is not. This is probably me reading into it too much, but there's like this weird desperation to be found in the gap between his exuberant demeanor and like the, the reality of what's happening. How to train your demon. Mount Sagiri. If you really want to go there, the fastest way is over that mountain. Please don't worry, I'll be careful. And thank you for the directions. Can't you just stay a minute and fix our village? Don't get lost, okay? <laughs> Alright, lady. <laughs> That's the scent of blood. This path can be pretty rough. Somebody must be hurt! The hell are you doing here? It's a talking demon. Anybody who sets foot on I didn't know they could talk. He's gonna have to pay. I guess this is only the second demon we've seen. Hang on. Are you too human? Just a little scratch, though. Should heal in no time. So they heal. Oh, what the hell? He's so fast. Yeah, it looked like he teleported. Yeah, now she's gonna be clutch. Uh, there she goes. Can he heal from that? We're following zombie rules, right? Nezuko, you killed him. Wait a minute. But he's a hold demon. Hold on. Hold up. You bastards! Nope. Zombie rules do not apply. Are demons even all bad? <laughs> like, if they're sentient and conscious, I feel like that'll come up at some point. Wait, does that mean they're gonna be two, two of him? He's like a starfish, very ugly starfish. Does the fact that like he doesn't know about demons, but the demons are suddenly emerging all over the place mean that they're they're expanding or something? This kid's head is damn hard. <laughs> is that a metaphor? Yes. <laughs> Nezuko, where are you? I feel like she's probably holding her own. That guy is missing a head. All right, so much for holding her own. <laughs> Interesting mid card. Very stylish. He's fine. Walk it off. I wonder... How many demons are there? Seems like a lot these days. I still have to finish him off. Or he'll keep killing people. This could go one of two ways right now. For the show. This is a big statement. That knife isn't going to do the job. I got him out of the decision. The question is lingering for now. Will he kill demons or not? It's called Demon Slayer, but... Think for yourself, or aren't you capable of solving your own problems? So I'll have to crush it. So you gotta crush the head, you gotta destroy the head. Well, here we go. I bet he'll suffer. Isn't there Does seem like it's going that way. Finish him off with one blow? He's far too kind and far too indecisive. This boy will never make it. 
but more likely than not, that is exactly what his contribution will be. I've talked a lot about hero stuff on this channel for obvious reasons, but one thing that I've been focusing on a little more distinctly recently, I think because of My Hero Academia and its absence, I guess, in a way, is the fact that a lot of hero stories have this element of not just overcoming personal obstacles and rising to a challenge and defeating what was once an unstoppable evil, but that part of their initial disposition doesn't match the task and the whole world is getting them to try to change, but by becoming fully resolute in that and understanding exactly why they feel that way, they're able to sort of break through that barrier and do what needs to be done without sacrificing who they are. That's Aang, right, and Edward Elric, and it's been extra interesting for me to think about that element of it because I feel the fear very deeply of being resolute in a certain way of thinking or way of being and having that be unpopular. It's easy to be authentic when authenticity sort of aligns with expectations or it's maybe slightly off from, you know, the base, but it's really tough to be authentic and stand for what you believe in when it's an unpopular idea. But often I think it's those insights or people who are very principled but sort of against the grain that are the most important to listen to. And so there's a huge opportunity there if the individual can weather that storm. In that way, it's not just a matter of like rising to the top and becoming a leader. It's starting from being alone, at least in a certain key way, and then rising to the top and rising to leadership. I mean, for this kid, some of it is him being naive, right? But he's having trouble killing demons in a world called Demon Slayer. He's not going to be the most popular. But then again, it's probably exactly what is needed. If everyone's already so deeply entrenched and it doesn't even seem like they're convinced it just seems like this is sort of the most convenient way to think about it this is what gets them by so that's something he already has to contribute or i could be wrong and he could just like kill all the demons one crucial element of that though is he lacks the skills to make that happen so Does the other people are right my body's dead i think i'm gonna be he's all sick. ideals right now bastard i'll kill you this is just a, a a person like a really angry person but a person the sun's already coming up maybe the sun will do what you don't have the balls to do <laughs> Well, that's one way to take care of that without guilt. No wonder Nezuko was hiding. Where is Nezuko? You didn't leave Nezuko. her in the sunlight, did you? I would, I would so lose my demon sidekick. I would so lose my demon sidekick. I can't even raise a plant. I bought a tomato plant. It's now just a mold plant. Excuse me. My name is Sakonji Urokodaki. This is the guy we're looking for. I feel like it's gonna take me a while to get these names. What do you intend to do if your sister eats a human? Oof. That was wholly unnecessary. Your resolve is too weak. There are two things you must do if your sister eats a human. First, you kill her. Then slit your own belly and die. <laughs> kind of like this guy. Have I made myself perfectly clear? He's not against them. Very well. Sort of a wake-up call. Carry your sister and follow me. Yes, master. So this dramatic fast. running. But I thought he was an old man. Don't underestimate. Don't underestimate. This kimono is my favorite. Besides, it's not important. I'd rather feed our brothers and sisters. Their like octagonal eyes are sort of tripping me out. Everything I wasn't able to do for the others. I'll do it all for you. Something weird about the fact that she just represents the whole thing. Please tell me this means that I passed the test. No, we just arrived at the training ground. <laughs> That's just how we travel. We're just beginning the test. Right. I promise I'll take care of your sister for you while you're gone. Oh, you're not go go going? Okay. Wait, he came. How is he taking care of the sister? <laughs> Welcome to Dagobah. Now, find your way back to my house at the foot of the mountain. Because of the fog, he thinks I might get lost. But my sense of smell. I've memorized Mr. Earl Kodaki's scent. No, there's obviously more to it. There are traps all over the mountain. Oh no! <laughs> Speaking of Star Wars. Control your breathing, then sniff out all of those traps. Some next level of smell. So it's been really bugging me watching the smell thing. What this reminds me of? It reminds me of. That weird horror movie, I guess you'd call it. Perfume, story of a murderer. Anyone see that? He's like that, but less murderous so far. It makes smell seem so underrated as a sense. Yes, got it. I'll make it back. No matter what. For Nezuko! You know, I used to laugh at things like this, but after that experience I had, which is a story I've already told about like swimming to that <laughs> swimming to that island with my girlfriend on my back and almost dying, it's a lot more real and meaningful to me now. 
this like can't give up for person, right? For X. Although also in a more general sense, in a less immediately life-threatening sense, I experience this almost daily just because a lot of my goals are connected to being able to provide for people that I care about. So when it comes to difficulty with my endeavors, a pretty reliable way to get through that is to think about what the goal is, think about those people. And he's gonna make it. We actually did take care of her. And now the test can begin. <laughs> They're different. I can sense something about these two. Is there other stuff going on in the show? Like Onimusha comes to mind where they're fighting demons, but there's also the ogre side. I don't know, I could be totally making that up. There was a moment when the, the demon that got wrecked by the sun said, there's something different about you two. I think the obvious thought there is that it's the sister, right? She's a demon, but there might be something very protagonist about the protagonist, if you know what I mean. He might have something else or it's just a reference to his, his heart, also possible. Yours truly, you, Tomioka. You, Tom, Tomoshiro. You're now my new student. Hell yeah. Well, I don't see any beaches around, but I'm pumped nonetheless. And now we get actual ending, not fake out ending. Visions of his home life. So the big question is why? Why are they so sure she won't attack humans? And why won't she attack humans? What makes them different? Is it just the power of their collective hearts and their friendship, siblingship? There's definitely more to this kid than we can see. Pigman when I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. I'm gonna love the next couple episodes. You had me at Master Pupil. I thought it would be the guy last episode, but a little bit too young, I guess. He was on that Master Referral Program. I'm curious to see how this kid pulls off Demon Slayer without slaying demons. I feel like other zombie or monster shows or whatever are giving him the side eye. Because in a lot of things we sort of get away with that. Like there's no hope, right? They're just monsters and there's no reversing them. So we can kill without remorse or without TV censorship. But that dude we met who got wrecked by Sun was obviously a bad dude, but was a dude. So their humanity is not lost. They're not mindless zombie-like creatures. Is that what it is? Is that what Pigman is? Is he a demon? I guess while empathy might play a role, perhaps a bigger part of it is the fact that if he kills the demons, you know, if he sees the demons as just monsters with no possibility of redemption, then that has major implications for his mission to restore his sister. It's interesting with him because there is this sort of idealism, right? And youthful hope and passion. But for me watching, whether or not it's intentional, there's a darker element to it as well, where it's like he's in a state of absolute grief that doesn't seem to have caught up to him. But none of that matters because we're heading into the training arc. <laughs>